Hey everyone, Anthony here from Mashup Math, and welcome to this lesson on dividing fractions. Today we're going to learn how to divide fractions using an easy three-step method. Now we are going to refer to the three steps for dividing fractions as keep, change, flip. And this simple three-step method for dividing fractions will work on any example, and we're going to take a look at a few in the following slides. So in our first example, let's figure out how to divide one half by one fourth. Now the first step of our three step method for dividing fractions is keep. And that just means to keep the first fraction as is. Just leave it alone and don't change anything. The second step in our three step method for dividing fractions is change. And that means that we have to change the division sign to a multiplication sign. And the third step in our three-step method for dividing fractions is flip, which means that we have to take the second fraction and flip it. That means reverse the numerator and the denominator. So after we perform our flip on the second fraction, 1 over 4 is now 4 over 1. Now that we have performed keep, change, flip, the last step is to multiply the numerators together and the denominators together, and then simplify the resulting fraction if necessary. Notice that 4 over 2 can be simplified and is equal to 2. So now we have just used keep, change, flip to find our final answer. So now let's just draw a conclusion. Remember that the original example wanted us to find what was the value of 1 half divided by 1 fourth? And we just figured out that the answer is 2. So before we move on to a few more examples, let's take a quick review of how we use the keep, change, flip method for dividing fractions to solve this problem. Now, let's quickly visualize why our answer of 2 in the last example makes sense. Why does 1 half divided by 1 fourth equal 2? And we can think of 1 half divided by 1 fourth in the form of the question, how many 1 fourths are in 1 half? And if we visualize this question, how many 1 fourths are in 1 half, we should be able to see that there are two and that the answer of two makes sense. And before we take a look at a few more examples of how to divide fractions, if you need some help with multiplying fractions, please click the link in the description below to watch our multiplying fractions video lesson before moving forward. Now let's go ahead and look at a second example. We want to find out what is 2 over 9 divided by 1 over 3, and again we're going to use the keep, change, flip method for dividing fractions. So let's go ahead and keep the first fraction 2 over 9 just as it is. Then the next step is to change the division sign to a multiplication sign. And 
And finally, flip the second fraction. Turn 1 over 3 into 3 over 1. Now all we have to do is multiply these two fractions together, starting with the numerators 2 times 3, and then the denominators 9 times 1. And now we can go ahead and multiply and simplify. 2 times 3 is equal to 6, and 9 times 1 is equal to 9. And we should know that 6 over 9 can be simplified to 2 over 3. And now we have answered the original question, 2 over 9 divided by 1 over 3 is equal to 2 over 3. So now let's go ahead and take a look at one more example. So in this last example, we need to find the value of 5 divided by 2 over 3. Now I'm sure that you've noticed that the number 5 is not a fraction. So how is this problem different? And how can we use keep, change, flip to solve it? So the first step of keep is still the same, except the number 5 is not a fraction, but we can easily turn it into a fraction by rewriting it as 5 over 1. And this works for any whole number, so you can always rewrite a whole number as a fraction by writing it over 1. The next step is to change. We replace the division sign with the multiplication sign. And the third step, flip, is to take the second fraction, 2 over 3, and flip it, so now we have 3 over 2. Now all we have to do is multiply the fractions together and simplify. So the result is 15 over 2, which cannot be simplified. However, it can also be expressed as 7 and 1 half. So either solution works, 15 over 2 or 7 and a half. And we can conclude that the original question, 5 divided by 2 over 3, is equal to 7 and a half. Hi everyone, Anthony here one last time. Hope you found that lesson to be helpful. And if you want to help us out, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. We're committed to adding new video lessons every week, and now would be the time to subscribe. So I really hope that you would consider it. And also, don't miss your chance to download your free practice worksheet that's included with this video lesson. Just click the link in the description below and you can get your download. Hope to see you all soon. Bye!